So this is pretty cool, look. All of the stock of polished stone planks, etc., are coming over here, and that's great. We've got lots of polished stone. I don't think we need any more stone cutters, to be honest. Should we make Amelia something else? Uh, no, we didn't need anything else, really, for the time being. Right, 28. Let's, let's unlock a trade route. Boom. And now we get one free territory. So let's go to the territory map and pick a place. Let's finish off the island over here. This looks perfect. So we have a new quest to set up a trade route. How do we do that? How are we going to make a trade route happen? Aha, here we go. So we can trade polished stone. Let's trade one of those. Sell all above the value. So we want 20 and we can sell the rest. What's the most renewable source? Berries actually could be a very, very good money spinner for us. But polished stone looks like a great one as well. So yeah, we've got 33 polished stone in here now. So how are, the, how are we going to trade those? Has that, that trade gone through? Sell. There we go. Trade. Do we have to build a market add-on? Public buildings. We haven't looked at these for a while. Sell goods to the villagers? Put one there, sure. Assign tools to a warehouse. Allow warehouse... Allow tool purchasing for the trading panel. Right, so that's what the warehouse is really for. So we want to cancel this. Make this tools. Assign tools to a warehouse. Perfect. And we're never going to sell stone, so we want to assign this as cloth, I think. We want to put these as all the things we're going to maybe sell and maybe uh, or maybe buy. We could sell planks, though. That might work. Allow purchase of planks from the trading panel. Trading resources. So we want to we purchase tools. Let's just buy two. My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. The king... Deliver 30 berries to the king in 60 days. Oof. The clergy. Deliver 30 berries to the clergy. Help the people. That'll give us axes. What are axes? Labor. That'll give us labor. Or I'm keeping it all. No, we've got loads of berries, so we could do that, actually. That's a good, a good idea. Let's... Do we want to help the king? The king sounds like a good one, actually. I want the king on my side. King me up. King me. So we have to set one of these to berries, I guess, now. Let's move, remove planks from here, because planks are useful for building. We got not many berries. Okay, assign another villager. We're also going to need... Hold on. Let's decrease the speed, because if we want to get this, uh, this party happening, we need to make sure we have everything we need for this. So we need to build another gathering hut, for sure. Over here. Perfect. We've got three workers as berry workers, berry foragers, and they I think they're all high-level ones as well. Yeah, forager, well, forager level one. How did they get to level two? How can you level them up? Maybe if they, because they're a, oh no, they are level one, so maybe they'll level up to level two soon. We've got 60 days to do this. So I think we're okay, because that's the time? We've only done... Oh, wait, we've done, we, we've done 12 weeks so far. So we've had 84 days so far. So we need to have roughly that playtime again to get enough berries to trade away. Easy. How do we deliver, though? Need the resources in the warehouse. Okay, so get the berries out of here. Wait, where'd the berries go? Did I just delete the berries? No, don't say I deleted the berries. No, we've, we've lost, oh my god, we lost 30 berries all of a sudden. Oh, that's not good. It's okay, we've got, we've got time still. We do still have time. What we don't have, though, is wood, apparently. So we'll paint this area as an extraction zone. Perfect. How many woodcutters have we got? Oh, we've got loads of unemployeds. Oh, you know what the problem is? We need another wood, uh, another wood hut. Okay. So another lumber camp. And this one can go... Why not next to the stone cutters over here? That looks good. Boom. And we'll make you guys builders. So we've got three builders now. Carl, you can be three stone cutters, three foragers. We've got two 
stone cutting camp, so we might as well make two more stone cutters, to be honest. And we can shift these around once we get the other camp built. But it looks like it's happening. We just need... Oh, we need tools. So trade for tools until we get five. Set up your first trade. Well, we just did it. Holy crap. So 54 days left to deliver the, the berries. But we're making good time. We'll be all right. We just kind of messed up. Okay, back to high speed. So there are berries being delivered here. But does somebody keep pinching them? Yeah! She keeps pinching the berries! Okay, we gotta stop her from doing her job. You're no longer a market tender anymore. Take five, Agnes. So the gathering hut has been completed. And we can assign available workers. Agnes, you got another job. But you're back to your roots. Berry picking. And if we have a spare dude, we should set him to... Yeah, perhaps Hans can now be a transporter. Because we need someone to come all the way over here and help with the berry, berry moving. It's a very important job. Oh, oh, but look at this. 12 berries now. We're getting there. Getting close. 48 days to go. This is going to be easy. Our people are getting slightly unhappy, though, because they don't have any berries, which is fine. It'll come. Don't worry. Oh, wow. And we only just completed the church, but we have a church now. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Nine new buildings. A new zone farm field. Holy smokes. There's just so much to this game. I love it. What are you doing, though? A forester. Are you done foresting? Well, then now you're a woodcutter. Two more villages as well coming our way. So we need a new area for housing. Now we've got another two areas unlocked. We haven't put down any more residential zones. So we can do that now. Oh, whoa, what's this? So there's desirability here. Is that desirability? And I guess people only really want to live in the green. So we can, we can help them out with that. We can put an area back here. That's a nice place to live. And if oh, they, they want to live in this foresty zone, don't they? Why is it so desirable? Come on, guys. This area is fine, too. And, of course, this sweet beachfront property here as well. There you go. It's undesirable, but god damn it. Someone's got to live there. Okay, so we're getting close to the goal. Wait, we got, we got 46. Let's do it. Click to deliver. Hooray. So now we can reestablish a uh, market tender. Agnes, come back. All is forgiven. You're no longer a forager. Get back to the shop. This shop. Nothing sold this week. Huh. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. But we've got loads of berries now. Man, so we have no quests. We're just trying to survive. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these extra buildings that we've unlocked. We're going to bring the game speed down to a normal speed now, so it's a bit more manageable. Because people are going house crazy. This is so messy. Oh, look at the clipping. Oh, no. I don't like it. What have you done? <laughs> You've ruined the look of the game. But it's okay. It's okay. It's a bit janky, but we'll forgive them this one time. So if you do decide to play this game, make sure that you give people enough space to build houses and not enough room for them to build on top of each other like this. Because that is kind of terrible. Resource-wise, we've got loads of stone. I imagine lots of polished stone as well. But we're not selling that by the looks. Now, do we have a priest? No, it looks like we don't. A priest is supplied for us. Priest. None. Okay, so we need to get a priest. How do we get a priest? Do we make a guy a priest? We've got some unemployed. Philippe. That's a good priest's name. Uh -huh, we've got some new roles here. Takes care of sheep. Bakes bread. Mills grain into flour. Oof. Okay, so we're going to build a farmstead. That's what we're going to build next. So let's cancel this area. As Wait, wait. Let's check fertility first. So this is important. We need to make a, an area for a field that is fertile. Oh, typically this is really fertile, isn't it? Um, what if we build a bridge here and have a farmstead over here? That sounds like a great idea. So we're going to have to... Oh, we're in minus gold. That ain't good. Oh, no, we're up now. We're up. We're up again. 
So we haven't really got the gold to buy a new area yet. So I guess this is going to be our first farm. So how do we build a farm? A wheat farm. Resources needed to build. Upfront cost. Doesn't say what it does. Produces wheat. A windmill produces grain in exchange for wheat. A bakery turns grain and water into bread. Perfect. Do we need a bakery as well? And a bakery... Right, okay, no, no, that's what a bakery does. Iron smelter, blacksmith, that'll come in time. But we need wool from sheep. So we're going to have this be the farm for, uh, what do you call it? Grain. You can just plonk the farm itself here on the unfertile land. Probably here's a good place, I think. As soon as we get 100 gold, that is, so we'll up the speed. Why are we down on cash, though? We haven't been spending much. Do we get taxed heavily at the end of the week? Oh, yeah, we kind of do. But we should be selling a lot of berries now. Right? Wait, happiness has gone down as well. Let's backtrack a bit. Agnes is an assigned market seller, but where is she? Where's Agnes? She's on her free time. Do we need another stall? There's 25 berries here. Where are you, Agnes? People are hungry. Yeah, we're at minus 12 gold now. Okay, so we're going to have to start trading to get our gold up. And I'm pretty sure I've done it incorrectly over here. So... Davenport, buy stone for three gold. Polished stone. And we're trading. What's this? So, sell all above 20 stone. Why isn't Davenport buying our stone, damn it? Let's put planks here and let's start selling planks. Because Davenport are buying planks for two gold. That's fine. Okay. And planks. Oh, look! So we've sold a bunch of stone. And we got a bunch of cash, I suppose. Either way, our gold situation is staying level. We are actually making money now. Which is good. Let's just keep that going until we can buy a farm. Boom, there we go. So we want a wheat farm. We're going to put it here. Ooh. The king wants... Oh, no, what? What does the king want? 20 fish. Is that fish in 60 days? I can't do that. Well, I'm pretty good with the king. So if I pick the king again and I'll fail this, that's fine. Just wait until our cash situation goes up a bit. There we go, 102. Boom! The second it happened. And we only need... 10 tools, 20 planks. We should be fine. Again, we're not selling these planks. Why is that? Okay, boom. There we go. So the farm is being built. So what do we build next? Does the wheat farm have to be on fertile land? Because we kind of put it just off fertile land. I assumed we have to put down a field. Or set a field area. Development zone. Farm field. That's the one. Yes. All the way along here, my friend. This is all very fertile land indeed. And we're going to have a huge farm. Excellent. Now, we're also going to need a windmill and then a bakery. And we're going to keep this all pretty much close together. Oh, look at the windmill! That looks amazing. Boom. Windmill. Got it. In the bag. So the farm costs tools and planks. And the, can, and the windmill costs stone, planks, and tools. Okay. Looks like tools are something we definitely need to buy. And that's like the linchpin at the start of the game. Until you get an iron smelter and a blacksmith, you can't actually get tools. That's how they get you. So please buy tools. Until we have ten. Let's get berries out of this slot here, because we don't need to work with those anymore. What else can we sell? Okay, so fish are actually here on the list. But who knows how you get fish? Do I have to buy them from someone else? Who's selling fish? 
Ooh, they sell fish for a hundred gold. Okay. A hundred gold a fish. That's going to be 2,000 gold in the end for those fish. So, which might be possible. We've got way too much stone there. We need to get these stonemasons. Wait, only one of one stonemason assigned? How many slots are there? One of one. Oh, we need another stonemason hut. Definitely. There. And uh, I guess we put another one. There we go. Building complete. The wheat farm. So now we can assign some farmers. Jean. Isabel. And Mary. You are now farmers. Welcome to the crew. Uh, Jane doesn't have a job yet. She can be the windmill guy. I don't think we're going to get a fishery here. So where do we do this? Iron smelter, coal mine, tailor, weaver, wheat farm, forester. Nothing here generates fish. What's this? Morning window. My workplace is full. Stone cutter. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. So we need to build more stone cutters. That makes sense. So where are the farmers at? Goods. Farmer. Free time. Okay. Wow. She's old. Maybe we should uh, get you to the berry fields, Mary. I think that's where workers go to die, is the berry fields. Like, you're getting old. We're going to send you to the farm, to the berry fields. Just to pick berries until you die. Until you fall over in the fields. Oh, God bless. Hey, up, who's this champ? It's Henry. Old Henners. He's, uh, he's looking good. Oh, but he's sad, because there's no church. Do you know why there's no church? Because there's no priest. Do you know why there's no priest? Because I haven't got a priest. I don't know how you get a priest. What about Jane? Could you be a priest? No, because priest is not in the list. Can we assign a priest at the church? No. So what's going on here? Why aren't they farming? Reset crop field. Maybe that's the one. Yeah, we have to do that, I think. I think it's because I, I bugged them out with the uh, with the sewing. Yeah, lesson learned. So let's pick up the speed. We're never going to get this fish task done. Go! Plant the crops! Edith and Rose are going to be millers. And then we'll also need a baker. Bakery. Best hots player in the world. This looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it the other side over here. Excellent. This is expensive though, this building. Oh, look, we got a lot of stone cutters and they're not doing anything because there's only three buildings in theory. So we're going to set Carl to be... Hmm. What do you want to do, Carl? What's your vocation? Stone cutter, sure. Wait, no, it's stone mason. We've got four. We should only have three. Amalia is level one, though. Philippe is not quite level one, so we're going to make you a cutter. There we go. Wheat farm, okay. Oh, yeah, this wheat field is beautiful. We're getting ridiculous amounts of wheat. Did I say weed or wheat? It's a wheat field, not a weed field. That'd be weird. Okay, and so when they finish this, they should replant the next season's crops. Let's see if they do. We need, who do we help? Oh god, what? Bread! Now that's something I can deliver on. Thank thank the gods. Oh, if we help the clergy, we might actually get a priest. Let's try the clergy. Now we're going to bring it down because we need to micro this quite severely. As soon as we can, we've got to build a bakery. So we need 300g. Going to get there any second. Blam. It's down. It's done. It's in, it's in the wind. It's happening. So we need 20 tools for this, 20 stone and 20, uh, 20 wood planks. Shouldn't be a problem. We've only got 15 days to do this, though. That's going to be a tall order. 